Hello, Danielle Rando. Well, hello, Phil Kohler. Uh, this is Galaxy. Have you heard of Galaxy? I've heard of Galaxy. I saw it at so, E3 a couple of years ago, but I've not uh, right. I've not seen it since. Well, I've got a nice surprise for you. Uh, we've got a big reveal okay, here. Uh, this this is a space shooter, right? From the guys what made okay. Skulls of the Shogun. But it's not just a space shooter, um, and they've already they've been pushing that for a while. But that's something they were saving until right before the game comes out. It's coming out in a couple of weeks, um, but they have not revealed the biggest secret in the game, and we're going to see that right here. Omg! Oh my god! Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> so. So it's a transformer. <laughs> in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Your spaceship can transform into a giant mech that has a laser sword. Oh, it's amazing. It's pretty effing cool. <laughs> um, that's great. You know, they've been trying to kind of, since the game was, was announced, uh, the, the guys working on this at 17-bit, uh, I think is their name. Um, yes, yes. Really, really great uh, game developers, really cool people. They've been really trying to push, like, hey, this isn't just, like, a, a shmup, right? Or it doesn't. It's not a shmup at all. Um, even though it kind of looks like it, it's a spaceship. You're you're flying through space and shooting things. Um, yeah, they were like, yeah. "There's more to it than that." Well, one of the things they kept top secret is this whole mech thing. Um, the game is split into episodes, um, each okay. or sorry seasons, and each season is is I believe four or five episodes, um, and it, an episode's basically a level. Um, Cool. The mech thing unlocks at the end of the first season, so this is they've literally just never shown gameplay from season two on until now. <laughs> That's a really great bait and switch. That is like an all time cool it's pretty marketing cool. thing. <laughs> what you're seeing here, uh, he ran into two enemies here, flew on past them, and got them to attack each other because they're two enemies from two different factions. Uh, so that's another thing, like adding to the sort of. Uh, depth of this game is you're actually manipulating enemy AI a little bit. Um, there's different factions you're going to run into within these levels, and they are uh, they will fight each other. Um, Very cool. So the way that a level works is essentially you get you start out in space, and then you're going to go inside these uh, what are essentially dungeons. Um, these dungeons are procedurally generated, uh, so every time you play through a season, they're going to be totally different. Um, and you can see here, there's a nice little map. Um, I think we'll get a better look at the map in just a moment. But uh, your, you know, your your uh, goal is always going to be the same. Not that it's going to be in the same spot, but it's the same for each each episode. Um, but where it is, and how the dungeon is laid out, and what enemies are in the dungeon, and what loot is in the dungeon, and all that stuff is randomly generated, somewhat in the manner that you'd expect from a roguelike. Sure, sure. Um, and then in addition to that as you'd expect from a lo roguelike, when you die, um, you have to start the season over. Oh, um, you know, once yeah. you unlock, like, <laughs> season two, you can always start at the beginning of season two, but uh, but basically you have to make it through a full s all the episodes in a season without dying. Um, and you can see, you know, you've got shields which regenerate in the lower left there. That's the blue. You have So he has yeah. two shields right now. His health's only four. Um, and that doesn't get refilled between levels, uh, between episodes, Ooh. I should say. So it's, you know, it's like a real challenge. Um, yeah, this seems like a kind of a cool compromise between the the full roguelike of, you know, just yeah. you die and that's it forever. And, you know, something a little bit oh, look how cool. <laughs> more forgiving. But but this doesn't, yeah, like, this is look so at the cool. physics here, too. Um, <laughs> so you can, you can swap between mech form and spaceship form at any point. Um, just nice. At will. When you're in spaceship form, obviously you're more long range. You're going to be shooting lasers. You're going to be shooting missiles. When you're in mech form, uh, you have to get up close and do melee attacks. But also, you can grab enemies, as you've been seeing, and grab items in the environment and throw them around. Uh, yeah, this is really impressing me with the physics. Like it's I, I just cool. said it a second ago, but this looks really interesting and like a completely new take on this sort of thing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it is. It is a weird mix of, of genres. Um, it is something totally different than I expected when I first saw this game, and it's uh, it's definitely kind of gone on my radar in a big way. Um, it's also based around, you know, like the art style and everything is based around old, like, let's say, like 80s uh, cartoon shows about mechs and space combat, um, sort of like yeah. early Gundam and stuff, and uh, Robotech, you might, you might 
uh, Absolutely. remember. Absolutely. I was going to say, I really, um, I really dig 17 bits sort of like their aesthetic. So yeah. they are, I believe, a bunch of sort of expats living in Japan. So they're American. Uh, well, they, you know, they've got folks a studio who live in Japan. They've got a studio in Seattle. Um, oh, okay. Which okay. is where their programmers are, and then well, some Jake of them. Jake Kasdell, in... I know, uh, who is sort of the, one of the creative directors, I believe. He's he like the lead, Kyoto, yeah, so. yeah, and he's yeah, actually yeah. So the one there's... who's he's actually the one who's playing in this footage we're seeing right now. You're going to see me playing oh, in a nice. moment, but uh, this is why this one is uh, Jake's obviously very good at the game. So <laughs> what he's going to show us here is really cool. So he's like fighting with his bigger robot. He's shooting uh, meteors at it, shields down, um, but he's going to. Uh -oh. He's gonna do something here. He's almost dead. Back to the wall here. Check this out. Definitely. Check this out, though. It's gonna be real cool when it happens. <laughs> Boom. So you have a oh. block. You have a shield when you're in mech form, and if you if you use your shield at the same time as the enemy attacks, you actually parry their attack. It's basically Dark Souls. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, that's awesome. It's really so, cool. Yeah, it's clearly ripping from a lot of cool and awesome sources here. Yeah, it's, it's taking all of these elements from a lot of different games and blending them together in a way that is just so unique and interesting. Look at this incredible mission complete scene. Oh, yeah. This is really pulling on that, <laughs> that, um, that 80s cartoon vibe here. And the episodes, um, you know, there's a lot of... We're not showing any of it here uh, because it's not particularly interesting for our purposes. But there is a lot of like you know long dialogue segments between the episodes, uh, as you can see uh, and hear right now. There's constant dialogue going on throughout the episodes. Um, so this is me playing. Uh, I'm basically five minutes into my first time playing ever here, so I'm not nearly as good <laughs> nice. as Jake. But the thing that I found fascinating from when I played is I really picked up on stuff pretty quickly. Um, and for as complicated and unique and weird as this game is. I think what, what proves that it's special is that everything kind of clicks really easily, and it starts making nice. sense really quickly. Um, you can see I'm kind of hiding from this guy. My objective is to destroy this satellite, and this guy's big and scary, and I only have two health, so I don't want to... <laughs> it's like, go away. Yeah, <laughs> I'm it's out. just... I'm going to just zoom on by. Um, and you can see this is <laughs> this is a different episode, so the environment is kind of different. Instead of the uh, yeah. the dungeon, quote unquote, dungeon area in this, instead of being a uh, space station, is more of like a rocky, like planetoid thing, asteroid field kind of thing yeah. going on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's and, awesome. And th I think it's so interesting that there are these things. With, so you can see this blue pulse that's going around whenever I use my rockets. Yes. That's basically a thing to let you know any enemy that's in that range is going to hear you. Oh, cool. Um, and it's just this little subtle thing that helps you know, like, okay, can I stealth past this guy? How do I get How do I get around them? Wow, that's great. I mean, so 17-bit, they haven't... Uh, Skulls of the Shogun was the last thing that they made, right? I believe so. I think it's the only so it thing they've like, made, as okay, far as so I they, know. It seems like they really take their time with games, and that really is sort of showing. I mean, obviously I haven't played it yet, but it, it seems to me like your experience with the game was, like, they really polished this up and really yeah. kind of took a lot of stuff, and... It looks like it's working well. <laughs> no, absolutely, and and I think you see that again just in the fact that they took they have this whole giant mechanic, this whole like major part of the game that they were just like, you know what? Let's just keep this a secret. Let's make it something that is uh, a huge surprise for people right before launch. Um, yeah, I, I, which makes sense. <laughs> it's kind really of. cool in their own way. I mean, so. You know, I know that 17-bit was is sort of like kind of a cute play on like 16-bit games, like old styles of games, but with a little extra. Yeah. And it seems like this is kind of perfectly suiting that. Like, there's some extra here for sure. Yeah. But it still has 100%. that sort of old school, hardcore, you know, kind of look to it, which I totally dig. So this is coming out soon. You said a couple weeks from now. This is a couple of weeks from now. It's going to be hitting uh, PlayStation 4, and then a uh, a PC version will be coming eventually as well. Um, I think it is, for consoles, I think it's a timed exclusive on PS4, so cool. it's going to be PS4 only for at least a little while. Um, you can see here I found some salvage. I also love this oh, little perfect. lava field, like, and this is something where if you, you're having trouble with enemies, go grab the enemies and just toss them in that lava field. That's going to kill nice. them real yeah, fast. Yeah, that's a perfectly suitable way of dealing with enemies, you know, grab them, throw them I'm in I'm going to try and get these yeah. enemies to fight each other, we'll see how that works out. Uh, oh yeah, use those factions. It's, it's just such a yeah. It's it, there's a lot going on in this game, and I'm really impressed and interested in what I saw. Um, so yeah, it's coming out very soon. They said they're launching with four seasons, and then the fifth season is going to get added eventually. Um, and they have other plans awesome. to add basically just super hard modes for replayability 
um, later on for people who were, who were really digging what this game offers. Although there are already going to be difficulties at launch that are, you know, there's going to be a lot harder stuff than what's happening here, certainly. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> not, that, not that I need the harder stuff right You away, do. Certainly. I know you do. I know you're, <laughs> you're begging for it already. Um, All the hardcore stuff. Yeah. Galaxy coming very soon, and I definitely recommend checking this one out thus far. Uh, very impressed with it based on my time so far. Awesome. I can't wait to see it.